Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review. With me, Peter, the master of hoppets, today, joined by Peter. And uh, with a new gear, except a mic, because we got a defective mic, mm. unfortunately. So uh, it's still going to be with the lav mic until that's returned, and we either get a new one or get it repaired. Yeah, Cause, it should take about a week, I think. Yeah, something like that. We'll see. Yeah. We need to get back from Thoman, where we bought it from, which is a German-based uh, music shop. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, that kind of sucks, but you know, that happens sometimes. So we're suspecting that it might be a loose connection or something in it, because we tried it on different cameras and uh, computers and whatnot, yeah. and it didn't work whatsoever. We only had a hiss. Yeah, so... Uh, but today, guys, we're looking at another of the beers that was sent to me from Johan in Sweden. So thanks a ton to Johan for the beer. This is none other than the Nynneshams Spirited Barley Wine Aged in Bourbon Barrels. So barley wine on 10.5% in the English style aged in, uh, in um, bourbon barrels. And I think it says here it's a 2014 vintage. So that's pretty cool. Two-year-old bottle right now. Yeah, bottle in, it says it's best before 20, 2021. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's a, a lot of time. But yeah. we got the Brutal Body Wine poured, and it looks really nice in the glass. Very clear. Like yeah. a nice, clear, clear brown. Yeah, like yeah. copper or rust orange. Yeah, red brownish. Yeah, and it had, like, when we poured it, it had a nice kind of little bit of a thicker mm. uh, beige head to it. Yeah. And you can kind of smell the bourbon in the room already. Yeah. I've actually already, already had this. It's kind of sour, I think. Sour, huh? Mm. I already had this at uh, CBC, before CBC. One of my subscribers and friends, uh, Bob, or Rob, uh, from Sweden, he uh, he brought a bottle he, for a little bottle share we had. And uh, it was pretty good. So, yeah, let's check out the aroma on it. Okay, bourbon. bourbon. <laughs> okay. And some alcohol. Mm. Very, Very bourbon heavy. Sweet, sweet yeah, coffee yeah, like. Yeah. Sweet, toffee, caramel. Mm. Mm, yeah, and with a bourbon, vanilla, almond. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, that's what we're Maybe, no, not really dark fruits. It's more like the fudge and the toffee, like those sweet caramely aromas. Yeah. It's like a bakery in here. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of nutty notes as well. Mm. Vanilla and almonds, and yeah, it smells really good. Let's try it. Cheers, and thanks to Johan for the beer. Very easy drinkable for a 12.5% beer. <laughs> mm. oh, it's very sweet as well. Yeah, and I don't mind that at all. Mm. Kind of like medium body. It's not the thickest and richest of bodies on bar barley wines, but often when you barrel age, the barrel aging process can thin out the beer a bit. But there's lots of caramel in this one. Um, mm -hmm. It's almost like a caramelized uh, fix or something. Yeah, tons of caramel and toffee. Mm. And like it's, it's got a silky, slick kind of mouthfeel to it, even though it's not super heavy. Not tasting the 10.5%, or was it 10 or 12.5? 10.5%. Not tasting that. It's got some alcohol warmth, but I'm not tasting the actual alcohol. No. And it's got some nice kind of uh, sweeter barrel character, like that sweet bourbon with vanilla and almonds, mm. the oak. It's got a dry, oaky aftertaste. Yeah. To be honest, it, it just reminds me of caramelized figs. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would love to have like a little scoop of ice ice cream with this one <laughs> oh, yeah. on the side. <laughs> yeah, or caramelized figs with it. Yeah. That'd be really good. Because it does have like a dark fruity character and lots of like caramelized sugar flavors. Kind of yeah. like on the top of a creme brulee. Because mm. <laughs> it's got lot of, lots of those caramelized sugary flavors, a little bit of a nuttiness, and, you know, the toffee and whatnot. Kind of a, a, a hefty bready malt flavor too. This is really nice barley wine. I prefer these English style barley wines when we're talking barrel aged barley wines. Because mm. the American ones are just so hoppy and bitter. This yeah. is not. This is like a little bit dry and just nice and sweet. Very sweet. Mm. Now, it's not the best barley wine I've had, but it's one of the best beer I've had from Nuneshams in Sweden, actually. I also had their Soltholmen Extra Stout barrel aged. That Johan also sent that was nice, but this is definitely better. I'm like a 94 on this. This is a really nice barrel aged barley wine. It's just got a lot of nice barrel flavor, but it's lacking a bit on the mouthfeel and whatnot to hit that world class level. But it's just excellent stuff, really good. Mm. It's just incredibly uh, delicious. It's like a dessert uh, <laughs> in itself. Um... We're using the Spieglau barrel aged beer glass for this barrel aged beer. <laughs>
It's a 95 for me. Okay, guys, so that does it for the review of the Munis Hunt. Mm. Booted Barley Wine, Bourbon Barrel Age Edition. Really nice stuff. Thanks a ton to Johan for uh, sending this one out. You rule, dude. And let us know what you think of this bad boy if you've had a chance to try it. I actually think I reviewed the regular version way back in the day in one of the first beer mails Johan sent. Uh, I don't even remember what I thought of it back then, but <laughs> really cool to get to try the Barrel Age version as well. So thanks a ton, dude. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, and check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give us a big thumbs up and we're going to say cheers. Cheers, Pete. Cheers, Pete. And see you guys in another video.